Email. Nobody really likes it, yet we all have to use it. Most of us use it daily. Now, after years of signing up for services, accidentally leaving the newsletter box checked through checkout, etc., our inboxes get mighty full with total crap. Yet, since these spammy emails come from real legitimate companies like Amazon, Apple, and the like, it doesn't ever hit our spam folder, rather it goes straight to our inbox. So today I'm going to teach you how to make your inbox lean and prevent those unwanted emails from coming into your inbox in the future. The first step to eliminating unwanted email subscriptions is through an awesome service called Unroll Me. Navigate to Unroll Me by following the link in the video description. Now Unroll Me is free and it works across all of the major email providers. Click Get Started, and then you'll have to enter your email. You'll probably be prompted to enter your email service password as well. Don't worry, the password is stored securely, but you can also delete your Unroll Me account at any time if you so desire. Unroll Me will begin to scan your email inbox and deleted folder for a comprehensive list of the newsletters that you're subscribed to. To the right of every subscription, there are two buttons. There is the unsubscribe button, which will remove you from the mailing list completely, and that's the one that I'd recommend, though there is also a button called add to rollup. This takes all of the spammy newsletters and combines them into one email that Unroll Me will send you daily. Now this could be handy if you want a little digest of a few shopping websites that you'd like to keep under your radar without being bombarded with multiple emails each and every day. Now, Unroll Me will do the majority of the work and should eliminate pretty much all of your subscriptions. Now to the important part, making sure that this kind of fluff never happens again. Now, as a general rule of thumb, you should never use your actual email when signing up for new services. Weird, right? You can if you know that it's going to be a website that you'll use in the long term, but instead you should use an alias. For example, I have an alias junk at snazzylabs.com, which redirects to my main email account's trash bin automatically. I never see those emails, but when I sign up for a new service, I'll use that alias. They usually send a verification email, so I simply navigate to my email inbox trash, find the verification email, click the link, and boom, I have a quote unquote verified account. Now, most services will allow you to set up an alias in your email settings account, but Gmail is a little bit different. Gmail has what they call infinite aliases in that if you put a plus sign after your email username but before the at gmail.com extension, that email will still arrive in your inbox. It's kind of confusing, but if you sent an email to that snazzy iPhone guy plus hello at gmail.com, it will still arrive to my email account. Now, things get useful when you create rules for specific alias extensions. For example, if I navigate to the browser-based Gmail client, in the search field, I can type the email address that I want to use for future newsletters. So I can type, let's say, two colon parentheses, that snazzy iPhone guy plus junk at gmail.com, and then I'll end the parentheses. Then I click the small down arrow and click create filter with this search. When the message arrives, I can auto archive it and mark it as read. That way you'll still have access to those verification links or newsletters that you may need access to at a later date, but they won't disrupt your email inbox. And unless you specifically look for them, you're never going to find them. Doing all of this can take an hour or so, but it is so well worth it in the long run. Now you know how to clean up your email inbox and make sure that it stays that way. If you found this video helpful, we'd appreciate that you give it a like as it makes us more discoverable in the YouTube search. But if you thought this video was crap, then a thumbs down will do. If you'd like to support our channel, you can shop through our Amazon affiliate link, snazzyzon.com. You pay the same prices, but we get a small kickback for sending you there. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, stay snazzy.